Hi guys, it's Otto here and today I'm going to show you how to program an RTS uh, motor from Somfy um, when you've replaced the motor or you have a new uh, shutter and it's in a down position. What I'll be using is a Telus 4 remote control to show you how channel selection works but this procedure works for any RTS remote control which has an up, down and my button um, so you can use a smooth RTS, Telus 6, Telus 16 or Telus 1. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, when you have a, a multi-channel remote I'm going to select the channel and that's the channel that you'll be using it to control afterwards. So this will be the channel that the, uh, the motor will be connected to. So I'm going to press once and then I have it on channel 1. Now if you have a Talus 1 or a smooth RTS you don't need to select the channel. It's a one channel remote so that means that, the, um, that you actually can start straight away with uh, the next step. And the next step is actually waking up the motor, so you can pair the remote to it. That's by pressing the up and down button, which will put it in the programming mode. So I'm going to press these at the same time until the motor responds. So it responds by jogging. So it goes up and down shortly, and that's a sign that the connection has been made. So now we can, uh, we can continue the programming procedure. The first thing I want to do is check the uh, direction the motor is running in, because I want, of course, when I press the up button, that the motor goes up, um, and when I press down, it goes down. But that can be, uh, um, the, it can be in a different direction, so I want to check that first. So when I press up, it goes up here. Now, if that doesn't happen for your motor, what you need to do is press the My button and keep holding that for about three seconds until the motor jogs. So I'm going to do that now just to show how that works. So I'm pressing it and keep holding it until it jogs again. And as you can see, when I press down, it will now move up. So it goes up. That's, of course, what we don't want. So now I have to reverse that by pressing it again. And now it will, again, run in the right direction. Now this is something that's very important because this change of direction can only be done at this step of the procedure. Once the motor is completely programmed uh, it's not possible to reverse it and then you would need to reset the motor and start from, from the beginning basically if you want to reverse that. So it's something that needs to be done now so uh, make sure that uh, it actually runs in the right direction. So now that we've done that I can uh, determine the uh, lowest position. Um, I'm going to do that by pressing the button down and when you press and release the button, the motor will automatically stop. So you can actually position it quite precisely. So I've done that now and the motor is in the lowest position. The next step we're going to do is press the My and Up button at the same time. And that will make it run up. You press it and hold them together um, until the motor starts moving. Then you can release it. So I'm going to show that now. So I've pressed them at the same time. And now we can release it. And what I do now is I hold my finger close to the My button because I want to stop it on time. And I'm going to stop it a little bit before the end position has been reached because I don't want to run the risk of it running up too high um, and get stuck. So I stop it before and then I can adjust the, uh, the final position and I can do the same thing. I just keep pressing the up button until it's in the right position. So this is about right for me. Um, you, of course, can determine your own position. One thing you need to keep in mind, of course, is that it doesn't pull it in too far because that will uh, make it difficult for uh, the motor to roll down again. So you have to make sure it runs smooth and it's something you can test, of course. Um, the next step, of course, is confirm this position. And I can do that by pressing the My and Down button at the same time. And I do the same thing. I keep holding it until the motor starts running. Then I can release it. So I'm going to do that now. My and Down at the same time. So as you can see it's running down, I've released the buttons and I can press my straight away to stop it. It doesn't need to run down completely to, uh, to the lowest position, that's not necessary. We've set that in the beginning. So now all I need to do is confirm both the up and down positions. And that's done by pressing the my button and holding it till the motor jogs. As we can see now. So keep holding it until the motor responds. Release the button and now the positions have been memorized. All I need to do now is confirm that the... Um, um, that we can stop the programming procedure and that's done by pressing the PROC button on the back and for that I'm using this small pin here but you can use a paper clip as well anything that just um, gets into this hole so that's where the, uh, the program button is hidden so I'm going to press it now and keep holding it until the motor jogs that's done and the motor has now set the programming procedure is complete I want to check that quickly by pressing the UP button and as you can see, the motor will stop automatically at the right position that we preset during the procedure. 
So now that it's done, um, you can, I can also tell you the big advantage of doing this manual procedure, which is possible um, for the Altus and the Oxymo motors. The Oxymo motors also have a fully automatic sequence, or that's something I don't like to use, because the advantage of this way of programming the motors that we can now still adjust the end limits uh, manually. So if this is not the right position, we find that it's still not working well, um, I can still adjust that. That's for a different video, which we've made already, so you can look it up if you want to change that position. But that's the big advantage of setting the positions manually instead of automatically. You can also set the My Position now, of which we have a video, and make the links to, for example, Tahoma, another remote control, or Connexoon RTS. Now, if you have any questions about this procedure, RTS or any products in general or the motors of Somfy, then please let me know. You can leave a, a comment uh, below the video that I can respond to. You can send me an email or you can leave a comment in one of the forums. Um, the link, of course, in the description below the video. Now, I hope you learned something today um, and that it will be easy for you to set the, uh, the shutters uh, with this motor uh, following this procedure. If you have any questions, again, let me know and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.